Hey YouTube. Hey, I'm working on another project. What you can see here is going to be an elevated hunting blind. Now this all came about because my wife wanted to go hunting with me this year. Um, the catch is my wife actually doesn't like ladders. So she said she needed something with a staircase. So I'm going to take full advantage of the situation and I'm going to build me a hunting blind. It just needs to have a staircase when I'm done. As you can see, I've got the posts already in the ground. They're already been plumbed and squared and set in concrete. I've got a couple of my diagonal braces on and I've already got my floor joists and my subfloor already put on. Now the posts, I was able to salvage them out of an old barn that we tore down, but the rest of this material, I'm just gonna have to purchase. So I think I'm ready to go ahead and start laying out my walls and then we'll start assembling the actual blind on top here. What I've done is I've basically pre-cut all of my walls. I've got them all kind of laid out uh, how, they're, how I want them to be and got everything pre-cut. I'm going to have everything marked on which pieces, what lengths they are and then basically I'll just take it out there and uh, be able to start nailing it all together. Hopefully I won't need to cut anything. As you can see we have the walls completed. We got our roof joists up and we got our metal roofing on. You notice over here to the side I've got some scaffolds them are basically some scaffolds that are made out of two by eights that that stick out they got walk boards nailed to them uh, we had to put those on to be able to even get the roof joists on especially all the outer roof fascia on and then the farthest one out here to the side it was used to be able to climb on and off the roof uh, to be able to put the metal sheeting on so now that that's completed I go ahead and take them scaffolds off and I'm ready to put the metal on. For the siding in the roof, we're using brown uh, barn metal, basically, metal uh, siding, roofing. It's, uh, and we're camouflaging it with this Rust-Oleum uh, camouflage paint, spray paint. And um, basically, to do this, uh, we've cut out some stencils to make some different shapes. And then we've also, we've tried using some tree branches, uh, kind of like the uh, pine branch, uh, the best, I think. And um, basically we're just kind of putting this on in layers. And I've got about half of this done, so we need to go ahead and just keep on going and go ahead and camouflage the rest of this. Oh, there it is, another set of panels done. And here is our elevated blind, and it is as complete as it's gonna get for now. I really hoped that we would get a little bit farther, but it is um, suitable enough to be able to hunt out of this season. Uh, overall, it uh, was a way bigger task 
than I probably anticipated. Ended up taking me about six weekends uh, working on it to be able to get this far. And I'd probably work, uh, you know, one or two days a weekend on it. It, uh, I really wanted to get more done on it. I really wanted some kind of windows or shutters and a solid door to be able to keep the um, animals or, uh, you know, like your squirrels and stuff out of it. But uh, for right now, for hunting season, it's getting ready to start here soon. Um, this will be good enough for now. And uh, I'll try to come back later and uh, finish up all the uh, final touches on it. As we look at the elevated hunting blind from across the the uh, past or the field here, uh, you can see it blends in pretty good. The camo job actually blends in pretty good. But the uh, that green treated lumber that's on the fascia and floor joists, it uh, definitely sticks out like a sore thumb as well as, well as the staircase. Now the windows, the inside of the windows did the exact same thing, same thing, and I spray painted them with a little bit of that camo spray paint, and now they've blended in quite nicely. Um, after hunting season, I'll try to come back, and that's one of the things I want to do is get that fascia board and get that floor joist and kind of knock that down with some spray paint, so it just it's uh, so this blind isn't as noticeable. Let's go ahead and move in closer and uh, show you what it looks like close up. As you come up to the back of the blind, you'll just see this staircase. Just got a single handrail and it comes up to the blind. And we've set one additional post here to help hold up the uh, four foot by four foot po porch that's on the back side. As we come in the hunting blind, you're going to notice the first thing is that there is pink polystyrene insulation going around the whole interior. Now that insulation is just on here mainly to keep the metal from sweating in here because we do actually have a small propane heater in here to be able to help keep us a little bit warm uh, so we're hoping that this will prevent the metal from sweating and dripping inside now that does make a very light background so on the back side of the blind we have the burlap we have two layers of it we have one facing out and one facing in so that it causes a dark background for us here in the blind and then on the front windows we have a camo screen um, it's a really light material but it when you're looking in from the outside this does uh, help hide you the bad thing about it is it's so light it blows in the wind very easily so if you can see this one is blowing out right now um, so what we've done is if this gets annoying this screen we have hooks up here that we can just lift it up and hook it out of the way and then it won't be blowing in the wind and annoying us so I'm not sure what I think of the screen yet but it does actually help uh, kind of hide us in here so overall it's it's good enough to hunt out of I do have a uh, five by seven rug just a regular area rug you'd have in your house uh, it's about 30 bucks and this is this kind of helps us so we can walk around or move our feet in here and not cause any noise when we started building this blind I mean our purpose is to have something initially for my wife to be able to to get in and hunt out of something maybe we could stay warm in while we hunt and um, uh, we decided to build it so that it would hopefully last for years to come because we plan on living out here in the future so we wanted to build this so it would hopefully last 20 years or so whether it does or not uh, if we can get a good 10 years out of it or more, that would be great. So we've got the barn metal on it. I mean, it, it ended up costing us uh, a little bit and a lot of effort, but uh, we're hoping that this will be here for years to come and to use. So I do have a lot of finishing touches to do, like I got paint and bracing. I got some flashing to do, and I still need to do some windows and doors. So I may make a video again later after we're all completed just to show the finished product and see how it all turned out. This is Small Town 442, and thanks for watching, YouTube.